Okay, uh, this is a 2015 electric traditional tank style water heater. Whirlpool. 2015 50 gallon. What happened here was there was a leak overhead that got into this into this little compartment, got down into the electronics and took out this water heater. And so what I want to do is my main thing I want to do that I've never done before is try to replace this anode rod or try to take the old one out and see how what that's like. So there was this little black cover that says anode and then I took the cover off and then there's all this foam you got to dig out to get down to it. So I'm going to do that and then I'll probably end up just cutting this thing open just to just to be curious. So stay tuned. All right, so I was able to remove this all that foam, about three inches of foam, and let me get a light, light on that. If you can see, that's the the anode rod, the um, the nut. I guess you got to get a hold of to remove that anode rod. Twenty-seven millimeter, and I happen to have one impact wrench compressor small compressor uh, I'm gonna give this a go I have heard these are an absolute pain to get out so it, I'll uh, I'll give this a try and uh, if I can't get it I'll just give up so that's gonna this is gonna be the way I go about this so let me uh, see what I can do so I gave this about five minutes of trying back and forth with the uh, impact to absolute no avail. Uh, probably going to try one last vein attempt and that is to get a real long breaker bar and hold this in place by putting something between these pipes and I'll see if I can get it off that way. Well I can't believe it but I was actually able to get this thing loose, this anode rod, by putting this 2x4 between the the hot and cold pipes as leverage to keep this tank from spinning and then just giving it all my effort and I was able to get that thing to come loose. I was very, very surprised. I'm actually keeping this 2x4 against my torso region while I use both hands on this breaker bar. Uh, so anyway, let me get this thing, take, take, uh, loosen it up all the way and then I'll take this thing out. Okay, so uh, I have not even pulled this out yet, so I got the I got the rod loose, and I'm having to put these pliers in there to pull it out. Um, only thing I've done is I've grabbed on, onto this, and just to make sure that I could pick it up. So here we go. Wow, uh, that is actually in you know pretty decent condition so the purpose of these is to be a sacrificial rod and so you can see not not a lot of that has been eaten away so to say so I'll get that thing pulled out the whole way so my final verdict would be like if, you know if you wanted to take on a job like this yourself where you you want to replace your anode rod I would say you know be prepared that it's going to take a lot of wrench pressure I mean you're gonna to have to really put a lot of torque on that anode rod this is this was 27 millimeter and I I think most of them are, are are that size another thing is I actually had to tip this thing uh, fortunately since this is just a, an old broken water heater I, I, I was able to do that but it you gotta you gotta take that into consideration if if I couldn't if I could not have tipped this rod or this tank uh, there's no way I could have got that rod out uh, I guess if you know if you're gonna take the old one out I guess you could just cut it and then when you put the new one in they have these rods that are in lengths shorter lengths that are connected together so I guess that's one option but just keep in mind that if you if you're trying to inst I guess it would be an issue if you were trying to install an anode rod you know this long 
there's just no way most people aren't going to have the height or the height requirement to get those in and out so anyway and you know like i said these rods are designed to you know be the first thing to to corrode inside of water heaters there's a lot of chemistry going on that you know i don't i'm not even all that well versed on but you've just got a lot of corrosive uh, things that can happen inside of a water heater and so these i've seen these to where they're no thicker than like a toothpick i mean they are just totally gone so anyway i hope that helps